Welcome to another session of Endless Legend. Uh, it's me, Mats, and this time we're going to play a different faction than the Kapaku. The Kapaku are my... probably my favorite. They just look so cool. <laughs> they play really well. They're very strong. And it's just pleasant playing as them. I never feel like I'm, I'm going to get destroyed by the Endless AI in the early game, because if I need to, I can I can tech into these powerful Golem Riders. I still haven't given the Necro... sorry, the Geomancer as much love as I probably could have, or well, whatever. We could do that in our other playthrough. Um, and there's a bunch of other factions that I think are reasonably strong, or I've beaten the game on Endless with, like the Broken Lords or the Necrophages. Um, but today, we're going to be doing something quite different. And we're going to do a challenge run, and the challenge consists in picking the faction, which I think is the closest to dumpster tier, if you understand dumpster tier, as setting the dumpster on fire with a couple of, like, thousand polluted rats inside. And that is, of course, the cultists. And <laughs> unfortunately, the cultists are just not that good. And the main issue is that you only can have one region, and that's a huge penalty, and I don't think the rewards are there. And it's not helped by the fact that you're starting, you know, this kind of hot garbage at trying to defend your territories, or just do anything besides talking to people and running around. So, couple uh, a terrible early game unit with a restriction to one region means that the cultists are very reliant on getting a good start in terms of a region. Very reliant on other people not bullying them at the start. And uh, not really that powerful. I feel like I'd rather, if I wanted to win, I'd rather play almost every other faction. I initially thought the Alayi were bad, but you know, I made them. I've played a game off screen and I've kind of made them work, I think. Um, even though they're not that strong. But I think the cultists are definitely the, the career, good choice if we want to challenge ourselves to the maximum. And here, I don't necessarily expect to win. If I do win, I'll be pleasantly surprised. And I more or less expect to be crushed off the board relatively quickly. So, why am I not that uh, enthusiastic about playing the cultists? Well, I, 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 I like playing them, but I don't think they're that strong. The main thing is that this conversion mechanic has comes with kind of a hefty cost. Firstly, so you have only one city. Uh, you can't produce new settlers. It comes obviously with some bonuses, otherwise this faction would be completely ridiculously bad. The main thing uh, is that you can get extra dist levels on your districts and your uh, main center, so you can get level 3 cities. So the idea is you have one really big city as opposed to everyone else has a ton of medium-sized cities or a ton of small cities. Uh, also, you can convert other villages to your cult of shady dudes. Um, and converting these villages will make basically turn them into small districts for you, which is good, but it comes at a pretty hefty dust cost each turn. So, um, unless you want to put a lot of your workers, valuable workers, into dust at the start, you, I kind of prefer to keep conversion until later in the game. Um, and and the, the, main, the other big issue of conversion and the, the high seed of the queen perk is that it's kind of hard to get your hands on the right strategics when you really need them. Strategics are really important in this game. So if you don't start in the region of strategics, and conversion only gives per village you've converted, and it, they only give you like 0 0.2 strategics per village, which is super annoying. Uh, because you're, you're, we're going to be strategic choked, so we're going to have to build up dust to buy the strategics we need to get decent armies, because without strategics, your armies are completely garbage in this game. Uh, the diff like, having a lower tech army, even if they're the same, si if they're the same size, uh, which they're almost always going to be on this difficulty, or you're going to have smaller armies, you, you get, you're basically going to get uh, ripped to pieces if you have worse tech armies. Uh, because of the new expansion, um, there are these Dust Eclipse bonuses for each faction, and our Dust Eclipse bonus is not that bad. Uh, based on how good our, our high high level our district, our central district is, um, our minor faction units are going to get significant bonuses. So if we can build an army around minor faction units, then we're going to have a, a good time if we do aggressive pushes during the Dust Eclipse. So that's a nice upgrade. Um, something we can think about exploiting. We're good at defending ourselves with fortifications, obviously. And instead of converting other 
uh, instead of capturing other cities, we just raise them to the ground and gain stockpiles. Like a ton of stockpiles, actually. If they have a lot of population. Um, which is good. We can also gain, we mostly gain uh, industry stockpiles, but we can also gain science stockpiles if we research re destructive analysis. So, this is strong. Although, is it as strong as getting a new city? Probably not. <laughs> But it's definitely something we're going to have to pick up if we're going to do some aggressive pushes. And most importantly, we, for early technologies, we start with the language square. I haven't been impressed. Obviously, the preacher is terrible. Even as a support unit, I don't like it. Like, 10 points of 10% bo bonuses are not that great. That's just super squishy. Uh, Fanatic is, I guess, a decent cover. I haven't really been impressed by this either. But Nameless God is a ranged unit, and ranged units are strong. So, at least we have that going for us. Um, so I spent a lot of time explaining here, but really, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I spent a lot of time explaining here, but it's, it's important to understand why this is a challenge one of the cultists, at least for me, um, and why this isn't so like, more like when I'm playing the Kapaku and I feel reasonably confident I can win. And also, they're, they're weird, we need to figure out how they work. I also changed the, the map type to um, Pangaea, just to make sure there's no oceans, because we... If we don't start on a region with access to the ocean, we're never going to be able to build ships, so no one disadvantaged like that for no reason. It feels super random on an already random faction. What kind do I want? Let's go off that blue. So we can watch the cinematic now. As usual, the art is very nice for these games. Uh, it's kind of neat that they integrate the art so well, as opposed to having more digital models. It's probably a good use of their resources, I guess, if they're like a if they're not like a triple A studio. Um I'll probably upload this after I finish the Kapaku playthrough, but I've I'm taking a break from that because I uh had a couple of frustrating moments. I think I, I forgot to record my last episode. I know it worked fine, the computer didn't crash, it was great. And then afterwards I realized I didn't have the video and I was just crushed and I was like, I don't want to touch that again. <laughs> so I'm going to do this as a intermediate um, playthrough. So in case uh, in case you like listen to the Kapaku one and I, I reference this, that's what I'm done. The endless broke us when they broke themselves. Now we are few and many that remain are of little use. Yet our purpose still drives us. Even death cannot be allowed to stop us. We must find new converts, new servants, who will help us fulfill the great oaths we took so long ago. They will not only be our hands and our eyes, they will be the sword and the shield of our armies that will bring the eternal end. First upon Oraga, and then across the universe. So basically, this is a messed up cult. <laughs> uh, it's very anti-endless, and because the endless created them, and they want to undo the work of the endless, which is Origo, it turns out. Now it's going to be very important that we scout because our starting city location really does matter. Uh, if this region is bad, we have to move off this region. It's, it's not like another faction where your second city is actually often more important than your first city. In, at some point. Um, our first city is our only city, so it has to be a good location. If it isn't, we're, we're screwed. Uh, fortunate, our, our, our preachers are terrible combat units. Fortunately, our hero is not a terrible combat unit. And in some ways, the hero, the cultist heroes are the saving grace of the cultists. They're just superb. I've used them in other, my other playthrough. And they just give you so many bonuses on so many things. Unfortunately, other empires could just pick up the cultists, heroes. Uh, meaning that <laughs> this is not a thing that's unique about your faction. Sadly, it uh, would be cool if this hero was, I guess, hero type was unique. Just to make the cultists feel a bit more valuable. Okay, here moss pearls give us bonus science and food. Not bad. Obviously, this earth spine is spectacular. The problem with founding here is that then... It's going to be a bit harder to make our capital level 4 because of the stupid ruins of water in the way. However, if we place a city there, 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 and then we just place around them, I'm pretty sure we could make it work. We won't have a triangle, though, is the issue. 
Actually, we can make a triangle like this, but then we harder to make our city. Actually, we're not really triangulating with this factory. We're just gonna build districts like <laughs> forever. Actually, now the question is, do we want to go there? We have a lot of dust and science there, so overall it's very good. But the food production is very bad. The food does matter at the start, but then again, gives us bonus hack. This has to be the correct location, I guess. Maybe it's gonna take us so long to get there, actually. The first district is going to get us that. We could just start here and then plan on moving up, up there with the two districts. The question is, is it worth this superior location to sacrifice two turns? I suspect the answer is no. We can always get it later. Hmm. This is a better location. This is quite tricky, actually. But how much is it better? So... Uh, this is going to give us. Just can't. It's going to give us a lot less food. Is the main issue, and food is going to be important to kickstart our production. I almost feel like I want to stay on this. Wait, what are these tiles even? These tiles give us a mix of all of those. I almost want to just stay on this and then slowly worm my way up over there. And that's something we can plan to do because of the cultists. And we can build a big triangle like so. Yeah, this is fine. And maybe we want to start here, which is a bit suboptimal. A little bit worse resources, but then we can go up here faster and pick up these two resources quicker. Or those two locations quicker. Yeah, this is, I'm not even I'm not sure about this decision. It's quite tricky. But I think I'm. I think I'm decently happy with that. We wanted a better start than this, and it's unfortunate we didn't get it. I must have using a lot of dust. Oh well. Now here is talk to those people. They can move up here. They can move over here. It's very important that we find the village in our region for quickly. Um, retribution of the queen. Hardcore dude. Um, I think we can afford to bleed dust at this moment. How much science do we have? We have a lot of science. We can go for the Empire mid second. We've already picked up a very important language square. Empire mid or sewer system, they're both good. I guess we'll get both of them. And then go back into science. Yeah. Alright, let's end our turn. Also, Founders Memorial will help us um, stop going bankrupt. So we basically the story is the cult is converting a bunch of villages and uh, in that way we can strengthen ourselves. The cult is all about uh, converting either by <laughs> force or, or by converting by using its influence to control minor factions. And uh, there's also the side story about the disobedient. You can explore the story in your own time, though. I'm not really that focused on it, and I don't really like reading. <laughs> I've been reading out loud, so I'm just not going to do it. Um, but the main thing for the quest is the quest is actually quite good from a strategic point of view, because it gives us some nice bonuses, and it's reasonably easy to do. The only real problem is that... Um, the real problem is that we have to... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, the real problem is that we have to convert some villages, which is going to kill our dust, which is really bad. This this is the village we want to convert, though. Sisters of Murchi... Mur Murchi... <laughs> Sisters of Murchi... <laughs> Jujan. Okay, we have to find this village, and we have to take them down. Because the sooner we get access to this village, it's like getting an extra population on the main system, which is um, as good as it sounds. I'm putting into uh, food production because that's important. I guess once we pick up, um, once we pick up Empire, we can decide whether we want to go sewer system, seed storage, public library. Probably public library is the third one. Uh, we're very close to another player, which is worrying. Because we're playing cultists, we have more defenses on our main city, so that's nice. We have to find this. Um, have to find this place in Jujan. Uh, 
because we're not colonizing other regions, weirdly we care less about um, pacifying villages because the, the main draw of pacifying villages is that you get to um, place a city there and you have free pop extra population. So we only could do that in our main region, which is why we're rushing to do that. But pacifying villages is only something we really want to do once we're converting them or if we're stopping them from making units. So we care a little bit less about pacifying villages than you might think. You might think the cultists are all about it, but we can actually delay it a bit. Which I... Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm just going to buy the stronghold and then we're going to get broke very quickly. Um, I almost want to reassign my hero to stop that from happening. No, I wish I could. Now we can um, become broke a bit slower. Great. Cool, we have to go Empire Mint because our financial situation is in ruins. Let's get the Empire Mint out sooner. Or we can just get the Mill Foundry out sooner and then pick up the Empire Mint as it comes off, which should be fine. Uh, I could have talked to them first, I guess. Oh no, they didn't want to talk to me, I forgot. We have to bring a glass steel back. Glass steel. <laughs> we need to make sure we can find the Sisters of Mercy tribe. Is this them? Or was it another one? No, I think it's another one. Yeah. It would have a light on top of it. No, not here. It has to be up here somewhere. I guess we can pick that up. They just walk so funny. It's waddling. Look at those crazy legs. Not the greatest start, but I guess I might as well show you what's what's bad about this faction. <laughs> oh my god. Cult of the Eternal End is, is pretty good at you know, ending itself. I mean, if you have a talent. Oh, here it is. Nah. We're gonna find it next turn and we're gonna crush it. With our hero. Our preacher is going to be garbage, but at least it can support our hero in combat. So, helpful garbage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just disappointed in the preacher. <laughs> Why are you like this? Why couldn't you be better? Right, I'm just going to place it at Borough Street here as soon as we can get that. I probably want the Empire Mint first. Do brothers, but yeah, they actually do give us uh, bonus uh, dust. That's quite nice. I think we just want to get the Empire Mint a bit sooner. After that, we can go public library just to speed up our production. Although it's close between that and sea storage. I mean, speed up our science is good, but also speeding up our food is good. We're going to spend a lot of time. Uh, we're not going to. Unlike. Other factions, we don't actually need to build. We don't need to build settlers. Or we can't build settlers. I'd, I'd like to, but I can't. And we're gonna need to build up our main population in our city really fast. So I think I almost want to get seed storage first. It depends on how quickly it is the. Excuse me. How quick it is the build though. I might want to get public library if our science is that bad. But I like seed storage a lot, um, especially since there are no downsides for it. Apart from the winter, in which case we just want to get it out as fast as possible. Like, this food production is lacking and we want to do better. Uh, we have to, we just we just have to have population in our main city. We need them for borough streets, we just we need them for extra resources. They're really important to us. Okay, here we're gonna use the hero to block blockade this unit. I'm gonna put the preacher to the side. Now the preacher's gonna buff our hero. Our hero's gonna attack the Yeah. As you can see our hero is quite strong. Which is good, because everything else is garbage. <laughs> Reckon? Very good. Okay, we're gonna move the hero here. Oh never mind. I'm just clicking. Doesn't actually matter. It looks like we're pretty much destroying them. And that means we're gonna pick up an extra population in our main city. Which is really good. So as you can see the strategy of prioritizing um, 
our main, our village and our main city paid off. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this first, because it's amazing. And we're probably going to go into Wheel of Achille. Um, oh, there are, there are personalities of the unspoken. Okay. One of the two aspects of the cult, or the leader of the one of the two main leaders of the cult. And we've picked up some Titan Bones. I think we're just going to pop it now, improve our production, boost ourselves into happy. Um, yeah. And get the Empire um, extremely quickly. And I think even think about just picking up another district soon. Yeah. North Foundry, excuse me. The question is, what would be better to just delay this and make it sync up with the Empire Mint, but get our food out? I don't know. Maybe it's probably better to do it like this. Although, we're getting the bonus from the industry via, via the Titan Bird, so we might as well maximize it. I'm just going to not cross the lava. Why did the Preacher cross the lava river? Answer it didn't. No. Why is the creature so useless? I have no idea. <laughs> Souls in intensifies. of eyes. But uh, I, haven't, I haven't actually gotten the, the DLC that gives you wonders and stuff. Um, mostly because it didn't have a new faction. And I want new factions. <laughs> if I buy DLC. Uh, I could think about picking it up. Uh, might be fighting more forward of this. You can play with that DLC. But I do have the DLC for the, the Winter and the Oregons. I mean the the Alai. and the the altar of Origa is is a very nice upgrade for this faction because it's a Barrow Street that always costs 150, uh, which is it, which is pretty great actually. All we need to do is collect turn ten pearls and we'll be able to get a cheaper Barrow Street because one of the limiting factors of our faction obviously is Barrow Streets get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Okay, let's go around right here. Let's pick up that, then we can talk to these people next. Now that we've completed the... Oh, damn it, I forgot about handing the quest in. Oh, no. That was terrible. Actually, we should waddle there first, now that we've done that. Oof. Where can we unassign this hero in one turn? Never mind, it doesn't matter. We just unassign the hero, drop them over here, move them over there. Crisis averted. Okay, now we can pick up Empire Mint in two turns. Okay, we're close to the Volters, not the worst, because the Volters are not that strong militarily early in the game. Although it's the AI, so anything can happen here. Seed Storage, we can pick it up after picking up a Burrow, so I'm gonna go for Seed Storage and then Public Library. Just because I value building my population up so much. I sound like a pretty good guy. <laughs> I value building up my population. Gana Sign Hero. Uh, and now we can reassign hero. Wait, where is it? Here, create army on city. That's a trick you can use to move your hero back to your city if you need to. Oh, and I moved the hero already. That was done. Okay, I did. I did the trick back fifty percent correct. <laughs> well, to be fair, we got some extra experience doing that, so yeah, it's not the worst. But I could have had this in a, a turn earlier, which is a significant error. Three minor, minor faction units. Not bad. We can do that. Okay. Never mind. This nobody, nobody, and I mean that I <laughs> didn't say this is going to be easy, and it's not going to be easy. So let me just put it over there. And just cheat this out faster. I think. I guess in five turns we can think about putting a hero on our city again. Putting a hero on our city is more important for us, I think, than anyone else because. We have one city, we want the excellent governor as soon as we can get him. Okay, we failed to complete that quest because they've been killed dead by the vultures. Hey! It's the Alai! They're cool. I like them. Also, unlikely to be that threatening. The vultures are likely to be threatening. As long as we don't provoke them, hopefully they won't, they won't attack us. 
Okay, that's good. Next turn we pick up an extra population. Very nice. And uh, hopefully soon we can get the seed storage online. Really, the, the ordering of these upgrades is going to depend on how the start goes. Fortunately, we're close to the water, so we can act, um, actually make good use of... Treat. We can make good use of aquapulvistics, which is good. Because aquapulvistics is pretty good. I mean, it's just a nice way of us to gain lots of dust during summertime. We can't actually outrun this unit. I guess we might as well just search this ruins. And then we found nothing. Wonderful. Sounds about right. It goes there. Okay. Gonna go here, party. Do we have to put in economics and not military? That's fine by me. Yes, we got some titanium, which is very valuable because strategics are something that are hard to come by with this faction. And yeah. At the same time, we have the extra worker we need to get some work done. Duh. Uh, fortification recovery is nice. What's what XP per turn on army? Probably this army, right? Max unit slots on militia. I don't really want these, but I'm not gonna buy preachers like screw those guys. Um, <laughs> I guess I could just put it into science or something. Actually, put it into influence. Why not? Let me just chat to these people. Okay, reassign them in three turns if we want. But I kind of want a second skill before I do that. It looks like we might have to use our heroes and extra units in the meantime. Yes! We ran! That was one fast little preacher. Run, preacher, run! It's the only way you can defend yourself. This faction is, is a little bit running away. This is a minute to, I'm a coward. I play coward factions. They don't want to negotiate? Screw you guys! Oh, we just had a breach of the city. I guess I can attack them. Why not? It costs a bit more, but you can just uh, pacify people after attacking them. Yeah. Okay, that's good. We'll come then. Wreck him! Uh, didn't wreck him hard enough. Let's just do that. Okay. Fortunately, they're ranged units, even if they attack us at melee range. They won't stop us from completing our turn. So this is the weird thing about this game. If you have low initiative, this is why initiative matters quite a lot, and you get um, and you get attacked by a melee unit before your turn starts, you can't actually move it, and your attack is done for you. So having initiative basically means you get to dictate how the battle goes, uh, which is also part of the frustration of <laughs> playing this game's battle system on the, the first time. Uh, it's hard to figure out what's going on, actually. I'm not sure which is better. We have four populations coming soon. We're going to get a decent amount from those populations. Mm. Party. Screw you guys. But fortunately, I'm, I'm, fortunately for you, I'm injured. So. We want to keep... We potentially want to keep our hero around in case there's a dust eclipse. Have we talked to these people? I, don't think so. I forgot what this quest was. Probably giving them some... Uh, dust. Probably why I don't want to do it. Okay, here we can pick up seed storage. And a couple of turns of this will run out, I think. Yeah. The nice thing about the cultists is you never need that many luxuries. As long as you just have one city. Uh, if Once you start converting blue assholes to the cult, <laughs> little assholes. <laughs> That's why I don't have friends. <laughs> I mean, in the game. No friends. But anyway. Um, seed storage is something we'd ever want to pick up with a turn. And we have enough industry at this point, like, kind of surprisingly, that I almost want another borough street, but I can't get one. So that's sad. No, I can't actually get one. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Um, I guess we can put some points into public library then. Picking up public libraries, libraries sooner. Mm 
question is do we want to get the seed storage sooner or later? Infantry kit. We might as well spend points in picking up extra militia and fortifications. Like, we're not doing anything else with this. Why not? This is the, the, the trouble of not having a good unit. Like, any settlers? If we had settlers, we'd be able to use that um, production wisely. And if we had a good unit, we'd be able to use it wisely. But buying another preacher, like, uh, uh, no. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, this this is either very easy or very hard. <laughs> Let's just walk over there, investigate. That's nice. Um, bonus science percentage. I mean, these flat bonuses are pretty strong at this stage in the game, to be honest. I just love that skill. Is this, like 50% of this really going to be better than a flat bonus on everything? I don't think so. This is just better. In one turn, we'll just reassign this hero. I think I just want the governor. I want them fast. Uh, for. I guess we can think about picking up a better army unit than the Fanatic. Wait. Is there. Dust Eclipse coming up? No. It's just, I'm just too tired. <laughs> Let's chat with these dudes. No, wh why do you not? I'm a nice person. Talk to me. It's probably because I killed them. But anyway. <laughs> Public library is coming in a couple of turns. I can't work public library in two turns. I want to get both of these upgrades. I don't mind getting one. Not the end of the world. I mean, it's probably something I want sooner or later, anyways. I hate you. Okay, let's assign our hero back home. Having a governor soon is more important, I think, in this faction because of how much we rely on a single city. And the faster we have the governor, the faster we can get a ton of influence, actually. Let's just check our... Look, we're getting influence per population, which is already obscene. And then we also have this influence boost, which is just... We're getting a ton of influence for a governor, way more influence than we should be getting otherwise. Which means we can start converting villages if we want. Uh, not, not a bad idea to convert this village. Ideally, we convert villages which have a lot of dust around them, so we don't bleed dust while having them. And actually, we haven't actually come. Does this one have a lot of dust? No, I don't see too many dust villages. Sometimes you get lucky and these villages are next to nice um, uh, terrain or whatever. Sometimes you don't, uh, It's possible I was not. Where are these people? Boss and Aranak. That, that quest is quite easy to do. I just, it's possible I haven't been, uh, um, like, showing enough initiative to quests. This is a positive. Yeah, let's go back that way. This is a possible I got just a bit unlucky. Heck yeah. It happens. Strong on architectures. I mean, we only have one city. Why not? Let's just pick it up. Because we're playing the cultists, empire plans are something we're quite good at actually, because we just have one city. <laughs> you know, if there's only one city. Oh, this is such a good settle if we had a settle. Sad, sad. Have we talked to them yet? I guess maybe they won't talk to us like everyone else. I guess being crazy cultists means that nobody likes you, so I shouldn't be too surprised. get that in a turn actually. That's cool. And I guess we might as well pick up infantry cantina at the same time because why not? We can pick up uh, the fanatics. 
I guess we kind of want these three technologies rather. They're, they're kind of mediocre units actually. Um, these boss are... I don't say they're boss, but like... <laughs> they're okay. Bonus food is... Percentage food is not bad, but we only have one village of this. Let's just talk here. Actually, we can talk with that. Actually, let's go that way. I'm mean, not talk, but just pick up stuff. Nice. So we're getting the sewer system much sooner now. We lost the Titan Bones. I mean, all good things must end. All good Titan Bones must end. Um, I don't care about getting this infantry canteen or fast. It's just something to occupy my workers with. Uh, I can't build a Borough Street, so might as well. I already have one Borough Street like this. I want to build another Borough Street here, which will be influence. Sorry, be happiness uh, equal. It won't lose us or cost. It won't cost us or gain us happiness, uh, which is part of the appeal of that. Okay, uh, vassals. We definitely want to go here, unless it's a hero requirements thing. Even then, it should be fine. I want to go mercenary markets and then aquapole mystics. I think if we can, for some reason, pick up a hero earlier, that's better. After picking up the sewers, as long as then, because we gotta get the shit off the streets. Am I right? <laughs> I'm right. Um, by the way, this—if I couldn't pick up the boss so easily, I might have just in this region. I might have just uh, bribed them into being my friends. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> just take money. Take it. Take it. Be my friend! <laughs> Good, we got that region. That's great. That means we can probably pick up a hero soon. Whoops. It's a party. No, oh, why does nobody want to talk to me? Assholes. All mean. That reminds me too much of high school. <laughs> okay, my bruv. <laughs> um, they're really not that many temples, actually. I haven't seen that many. We can go all the way out there on the off chance. It's a party of them. For hero led army, we have to find. Let's just find the other region first. Hopefully, we can buy a new hero at that point. I want to, like, move my hero over all the time. We're so prepared in case somebody wants to attack us. Oh, this is nice. Pick up the bonus move first. Okay, our bonus is more geared towards um, combat than you know exploration. So it's not that relevant right now. It will be later. Though. Let's pick up the sewer system. We can actually go for the mercenary mark way faster if we think it's worth it. A compromising loss of the system production. Though. And we want the bonus streets at some point. Actually, this stage we might as well put the infantry cantina before that. I walked up with a speedy thing, but this should be faster. Unless it can't get fast, in which case I hate you. I hate you, preachers. Like, it should be faster, but I'm just should be like this. I think we have to find a different village to talk to that one. Yeah. Two turns we have mercenary marketplace. Yeah. I just need to speed up this hero to complete this quest. And the sooner I have a hero. Look, do you, do you kind of only need two heroes? Like you need one military hero for the cultists? Because your, uh, your normal unit sucks so much, at the start at least. Um, so you want one military hero, and then we want uh, one governor, which we already have, and then that's it. That's all we need for now, you know? So it's not the end of the world if we... I mean, we do want the military hero sooner rather than later, but... Unit production. Cost production. Do I want this? I don't know. 
It's not bad, but it's also not... I don't think I'll be producing units in the near future, so I'm just gonna save the events for conversions. Or whatever. Okay, we have another... I'm getting burst in the marketplace next turn. Go back like that. Make sure we can pick up the bars. How is this whole stack slower like this? Crazy. How? Oh, I have no idea. This game is mystical. We can actually go for the extra population faster. Uh, take a more balanced approach, I guess. And while I do really want this military here, that's about all I want. I can, guess I can pick up a quick spy. Nice, we got that village pass by. No, running away. It's good. Baffer. Right. We'll have to kill that at some point. That's interesting. I just need to find the other village. And now I can think about which... Oh, uh, we don't have enough dust. Sad, sad. Um, this is not enticing because we already have one of these heroes, so we don't really need another, although it has good bonuses. Um, yeah, it has pretty good bonuses. These bonuses are actually not bad when I think about it. Cultist heroes are just great at everything. <laughs> like, you have a good infantry hero, which some nice extra bonuses here. But I want to pick up a second cultist hero, actually. And... I to be honest, our army composition will be skewed towards ranged units because of these nameless guards. So, I mean, why not? Why not improve our uh, frontline infantry, which we will need to have? Pacify those people. Okay. Don't have glass steel. I guess I want to go back down to this village and turn it to my side. Why not? We can actually convert this village first. It's ready to be safe, easy to protect. And we can think about converting one of these Jotas villages as well. Yeah. I almost want to spend everything on a hero at the moment. Three twenty. Watch me do the slow math. <laughs> I just spend everything on. Nah, I can't be right to sabotage everything for you, right? Can it? Probably not. Get the hero eventually. There's no real rush, to be honest. As long as I can pacify these people eventually. And hopefully I can pick up, just find another temple somewhere. And there is. My faith is rewarded. Like, no, come on! <laughs> that was the quickest 180 on <laughs> so far. <laughs> I was like, oh great, I found a temple. Of course, it gave me nothing. So, salt innocence use. In four turns, we'll have another Bower Street and another population. Not great, not bad. I kind of want to go here, actually. Use this extra influence to convert these people. I'm going to say these assholes, but I'm not going to go Okay, dust eclipse is over. I can just go over here, try and pick this up. Okay, that probably means they're dead or something. We're going to lose a lot of dust if we cover this village. Yeah, we get a new centaur unit though, that's cool. And we can actually sell this to fund a hero. 
Yeah, Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put those units there. I mean, I'll get a unit again in 14 turns. We're getting a lot of science in this place, which is nice. Oh, we do want to pacify these people, I think. And just have a hero to do something with. So the real question is, which of these heroes is best? Ranged heroes are good. But like I said, we want someone to hold the fort. Uh, so I kind of feel like I almost want to get a military hero or an infantry hero. Just to make sure that our infantry line doesn't just buckle and then we have lots of range units. Which aren't doing much. <laughs> because they're dead. And also just cultist heroes on a cultist faction. Yeah. Play before. Nice. I can go back. We can actually try and convert this. Yeah. And then add this unit to our army. Not bad. Whoops. I actually forgot about the dust cost of that. No, that's terrible. <laughs> Never mind. But in the turn, we can pick up Aquapel Mystics. So that's going to help us out a little bit. Um, I guess it's just important to convert for a quest, but I don't think about the dust cost. And I'm probably going to pay for that a little bit. Well, this isn't a challenge run for nothing. Prepare to be uh, challenged. Oh, no, the winter's happening. No, economic crisis. Stupid conversion. Stupid. Alright. So we get gold by converting two manufacturers to the cart. Villages. So I was supposed to assimilate a minor faction. We only have. Uh, we can use this gold at this point. Now we can assimilate the resources per pass on strategic resource extractor. That's great when we have the strategic resource extractor option. Public granary, I've sung its praises before. Management science, also good. But so is Alchemy Workshop, and I think that's what I'm going to go for first, to make sure our science is up to scratch. Okay, cool. Picking up those things. Picking up extra populations. And making some use of our extra units. We can sell this Harmonite. We can even sell this Preacher. Yeah, screw you, Preacher. <laughs> uh, just to make sure we don't have to put that much into it. Oh, we actually do have to put it into dust eventually. Alright, so I think we're going to call it a day there. At least we're going to stop the session here. And this could have gone way better, but it probably could have gone way worse. Um, Again, cults is not a faction I'm very experienced with, not a faction I think is actually any good. But let's have some fun trying to defy the odds. Join me next time to continue fighting the losing fight.